Hey folks, Ike with Eastman's here. Today we're archery antelope hunting and I want to share with you something that I've found has been a game changer in the optics harnesses. We're going to do a gear review on Sitka's mountain optics harness. Make sure that you hit the subscribe and the notification to get gear reviews like this. Let's get into it. The guys at Sitka really tore it down and said, you know, what makes harnesses good? What is some of the frustrations with them? And how can we make this whole system better? So, that, so let's just talk about it real quick. Obviously big enough for these range finding binos by SIG. You have the ability to detach them so you can keep the harness on and detach them. Hand them to somebody or if I need to take them off so I can clean them. Or if I'm just sitting down and I don't want to have the harness on, I can take the harness off and still have the binoculars without dangling the harness. We also have a lens cleaning cloth. Nice little pocket there. It has pockets on the side. So like you could put, if you were elk hunting, put your call right there or a wind checker so you know exactly where it is and it's not a lot of movement to get it out. These pouches, which are really unique, are molly webbed so you can take them on and off depending on what season and what animal you're taking. Then you can load, put your bear spray on. Pistol carrying modularity. So this one I have, like I have a pocket knife in here and I have a, a little in reach and a flashlight, some essential type stuff. And then in this other one I have my cell phone. You could put a GPS in here. You could put, you know, anything you, you kind of need. This is my antelope setup because I'm not, I'm not camping out, but I am going a long ways from the truck and I'll wanna have, you know, some essentials with me and not be able to have to fumble around and go, oh gosh, am I still on public land? finding my phone and all that it's right here now this thing's built to carry the weight with these straps now you look and go gosh they're kind of thin but the way that the webbing is on the back as it articulates or slides up and down it fits every body size and shape and also it carries the weight and there's a two straps on the back and then one strap on the front so it doesn't allow it to flop as you're as you're kind of hustling it actually fits like snugly but not crazy and i've been shooting my bow with them so it's nice to get it in a hunting scenario close on and all that stuff the other thing it has is this magnetic closure so you can close it with this strap keep them really good secure or when you open it up it the magnets keep this from falling down so you're not constantly fighting that and when you pull your glass out and put it back really fast as you're on a hustle or you just get a glimpse of something that's not in the way. The other thing it has is a couple pockets that are, I, I find really important. In the back, it has a zipper pocket that allows you to have, put your hunting license in it. And then a pouch that I, I keep my fire starter in. You always wanna have a fire starting kit on you don't put it in your backpack. So I put these things in my bino harness so I never have to worry about if I go on a stock and it turns longer than I need to or I end up having to stay the night, I always have something to start a fire and I always have light so I can get my way back. If you're in the, in the market for a new bino harness or you're wanting something new to change up what you currently have, check out Sika's Mountain Optics Harness. It is available right now and uh, I've been using it. I completely love this thing. Also make sure you hit that notification and as well as, as subscribe so that you get the notification of the gear reviews that we do and we do a lot of them on the best gear for the Western Hunter.